guess what today is? It's travel day. We are about to embark on a two and a half week trip, not, I was gonna say road trip, but not, not a road trip this time, throughout England and Wales. And I'm so excited to go back, uh, but we've, we've got a lot to do before we get there. <laughs> we are about to check out of our hotel. We've got all kinds of errands that we need to run here in Orlando before we get to the airport, um, including saying goodbye to our, our dog for a while. We've been giving her all the cuddles this morning, but she knows what's up. I'm sure those of you who have pets, uh, especially dogs, when you travel, uh, when you get those suitcases out, they just they just know what's coming. And even though we live out of our suitcases, she can just tell. She knows. It's okay. We'll see you soon. We have to leave in 20 minutes, and I'm not even finished packing, so I guess we should get on that. Uh, I, I need to get on that. Jeremy's ready to go. <laughs> I'm struggling getting my suitcase zipped. I hope that it's not over the weight limit on the way there. Ho hopefully, <laughs> fingers crossed. We are packed and ready to go. <laughs> Carly definitely knows something's going on now. <laughs> all right, all right, let's go. We are flying Virgin Atlantic. We had a great experience with them last time, so we picked them again today, even from a different port. But we gotta do some things before we get on the plane. We got all checked in, made it through security, went through like a weird trial of a thing called clear. Uh, well, that cut made out us like, go faster? Yeah, that cut out like 30 minutes of what would have been like a 45 minute to an hour wait. Yeah. When we were in Orlando, we didn't go to Disney World. No. But that's okay because the airport has a Disney store. Finding stuff you want? Not necessarily, but it's interesting. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's actually pretty cute. And we're about to take a monorail. We got off the monorail and I was expecting the food court, but that clearly is a different terminal that I'm, this is one I'm not used to flying into or out of. <laughs> we had oatmeal at our hotel this morning. We're probably gonna need something before we catch our flight. So, so what what are we gonna make it? I don't know. <laughs> we decided to come to Bahama Breeze because it just sounded good. We haven't had it since our friend Sean and Caroline's wedding a few years ago now. Um, I got the jerk chicken. It's really good. It has really nice flavor and I love the white beans. I, it's about plantains. I'm not a big fan of bananas. Man, plantains are good. They're just like perfect texture and consistency. You got jerk chicken pasta. Oh. Yeah. Is the chicken good? The chicken's good. I think it's similar to your chicken, but then it's mixed with the pasta and like an alfredo y sauce and mushrooms and asparagus. Yum. Is it just me, or is this terminal way nicer than the other ones? I mean, it doesn't have a food court, but it seems pretty nice. Like, I feel like the furnishings are newer and don't look like they're from the 90s like I the other agree. ones. We still have over an hour until our plane is gonna be boarding. We thought that having a relaxing meal at the Bahama Breeze, well, it wasn't that relaxing. There was football happening. People were getting a little excited about that. American football, not the, not the, the superior football. Yeah, I said it. But as nice as this uh, terminal is, there's not a whole lot to do here. No. I almost take my 90s Golden Girls wicker furniture and the other terminals uh, over these nicer, newer chairs because at least there's a little bit more going on over there. Well, no wonder it was so quiet over there. <laughs> What's the wrong gate? Uh, we're at 86, flight 92, not gate 92. <laughs> Good, good job. Hey, hey, we have still an hour plus to figure it out, so we're fine. <laughs> and we only have to walk like 300 feet or something. More than that, but it's not very far. Oh, this one is Lady Stardust. She's not our plane. We found the people. Yeah, we're in the right spot, I think. <laughs> We've been waiting so long it's getting dark out, but we is finally get to board our flight. Well, that was fancy. Space age. <laughs> they have like facial recognition now. Creepy. Didn't even have to give him a boarding pass. But nice. <laughs> 
home sweet home. I feel ridiculous because look at what I bought just so we could take a thumbnail. <laughs> Don't worry about it. That was the thing we just did. I love everything about Virgin Atlantic. Like the mood lighting, the cool video it plays instead of having flight attendants like walk you through how to use an air divider or air flotate, a flotation device. And just, yeah, I go this. This plane is fancy too, isn't it? I feel like it's a different model. It's at least newer than the one we were on last time. It's definitely larger too. Yeah. One of the flight attendants just told us that there's a tail cam on this plane so we can watch the tail cam as we take off. I'm very excited about this. Your mobile phone on. Good manager, please switch to flight safe mode or switch it off and also switch off the duration of the flight. chillier here. <laughs> I think on the plane they said it was 11 degrees Celsius, which I think is like low 50s or 40s. Got our bags heading to the underground. Are you ready to mind the gap? I'm ready to mind the gap. It's kind of warm in here. It is really warm in yeah. here. It's definitely weird to have spent the last three months in like Texas and Florida where it's been hot and AC's been pumping inside to come here and have the heat be on in the airport. It's warm. Easy breezy, we already know what we're doing, kind of. <laughs> as you stop, as you stop to look at me about where we're going. What? Yes. <gasps> oh my gosh, I wanna see that. <laughs> this time but for a very short time compared to our last trip here. It's got a tiny little kiosk desk for a lobby. Oh look we got a cabinet for the next two nights. <laughs> oh. Okay so in here we have Decent little shower. Toilet sink. Yeah, we got a cute little uh, little sign thing. Yeah, there's this nice little thing that slides out so you can stick all your luggage in, under there. It's efficient use of what space there is in here. Yeah, I mean, it's it's quite tiny, but I, it, it's gonna work for us. We're not gonna be here a whole lot, except yeah. for right now, I gotta go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we do have a little bit of a view. Oh, there's like a little patio thing. Can I open this? I'm guessing not. Oh. I used to be able to go into the little patio area. It's pretty neat though, isn't it? I can see the eye. I can see all kinds of other structures I don't quite recognize. When we were checking in, I asked if we could have a room that had a view and she said, do you want to see this building or that building? Because that's what they face. But she hooked us up. She put us on the sixth floor. We can see things. And for being, um, 
I think like 120 pounds a night, which let's face it, and like down like where you wanna be, and this is the hub by Premier Inn Covent Garden, like this is a tiny room, tiny. Yeah. It's like basically a capsule hotel, but it is a primo location, and uh, I don't know, I feel like uh, we, this is our first time staying in a hub by Premier Inn, but we had a satisfactory experience in Premier Inn. I just feel like yeah. they do budget hotels really well, and they're always just nice, clean rooms. So yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm content. Okay, real quick, real quick, for those of you that could help us out. Strikes got announced for the trains. So there are scheduled strikes. We have trains booked on one of those days, and a second day we were planning to book a train ticket, but we haven't yet. I'm just curious what your recommendations are for that. We were going to not hire a car at all while we were here, but now we're like, well, maybe we should do that because we definitely have to make our Euro train and that needs a train to get to that train. So yeah, we're gonna, like, we gotta figure it out. I'm just curious if you have any recommendations for anyone visiting like us that needs help with the strikes and like maneuvering around that. We have been up for probably like 30 hours now, something like that. Yeah, we Close both slept to it. tiny amounts on the plane. Well, you slept yeah. a little more than me, but. Yeah, I got like maybe two hours of sleep on the plane. I got it maybe 40 minutes to an hour all together. <laughs> so I think we're gonna have low-key, low-key nap time, and then we have all kinds of stuff planned. We have all kinds of exciting stuff planned. We will be putting out videos from Birmingham next, but we also have London stuff. We got stuff all over the place, so we will see you very soon. I can't believe that we are in London again right now for the <laughs> second time this year. It's, it's pretty wild. insane. It's wild. <laughs> anyway. Thank you for coming along with us. Uh, we will see you soon.